It's like noon right now on a Thursday and I'm hungover. Like I wanna go back to sleep. Hi, it's Friday night. Um, I'm going to paint and pour in Harlem, which is like a painting class where you get unlimited drinks, which I love. Love them so much. They invited me out for a free class. So I'm going with my friend Crystal and it should be a good time. I'm in my Canadian tuxedo, so <laughs> denim jacket. Um, our top is from Urban, pants are made well, and then I have on just like, you probably can't see them, some Nike Air Force One shadows, so yeah. I just wanted to get into the makeup because it's very natural, it's just like, I think this is the NARS Sheer Glow Fenty Lip Gloss, Rare Beauty Mascara, ABH Brows, um, I did my skincare routine with you to the people, but yeah, nothing crazy, but it looks good, right? The one thing I will say about Pay and Pour, it is truly, in my opinion, one of the best budget-friendly activities in New York City. It's $50 for a ticket, and you get a painting class and bottomless drinks. So like, if you were to buy each drink in that area, it would be like $12, you know? Four drinks, you've recouped your money. <laughs> um, so I think that's amazing. But two, the instructors at Pay and Pour, the best way to describe it, it's almost as if like you went to the family barbecue and you're linking up with your favorite cousin that you haven't seen in a really long time, you know? Because of that, I love, love, love them, okay? I painted this like Eiffel Tower painting. Um, it wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't great. I'm not an artist by any means, but they really do empower you to just like try your best and have fun, which is something I love about them. I tried my best. Okay, so um, paint and pour was so much fun to the point where I just ended up staying at my friends in Harlem um, because I was just like not in a position to drive. Um, so I stayed and I'm going home because I need to let the dog out. But my favorite part about paint and pour and like being in this area is the park view deli <laughs> it's like on it's on frederick douglas between 111th and 112th like a block away from central park best bacon egg and cheese in my personal opinion that i've had in a really long time like look at this look how good it looks look at the steam coming off like it's so good it's so good so i'm like really excited to eat it and i'm just going to sit here and eat it because I'm not gonna wait until I get home. And it's delicious. Mm. Always good. Hi, baby. Hi. The to do list for today is very, very simple walk the dog, go to urgent care and get a COVID test because I have to get one to go to everyday people, it's a requirement, and then clean up my room. Very simple. Just got my COVID test, I'm at Common, I think so it's pronounced Common Health. Um, and when I tell you I'm pretty sure this woman tickled my brain i'm pretty sure like that hurt so bad this does not get easier we are one whole year actually more like two whole years into this pandemic and it still hurts they haven't figured out an easier way to take this test the one thing i am so so thankful for throughout this entire pandemic is that i have never contracted covid19 that is such a blessing like from the early stages of the pandemic to now we're almost two years in and I've never gotten it and that is like so amazing to me because when I get sick very easily so like when we were in quarantine I was inside inside like I was not leaving my house um but two like my mom is a healthcare worker so she made it very clear how to prevent getting the virus um so I'm really thankful like I get tested almost every single week I'm also fully vaccinated I've been vaccinated since february or march of 2021 um so just thankful that two years in my immune system is still doing me right 
masking up is still doing me right and the vaccine is still doing what it needs to do. So the minute they tell me I need a Moderna booster, I would be right back, right back at August Martin High School to get that third booster. Turns out my car is on 16% and it also has a software update, which is going to burn through that 16%. Um, but I'm choosing actively to ignore all of that. And I am going to go get myself some bubble tea. I really want some boba. And then I'm going to charge the car. <laughs> but I'm here for the vibes, here for a good time. So hopefully that works itself out. But I'm not... 16% is like having 16% on your phone. Like, it's, it's going to get done. So I'm not, like, concerned about it. I'm going to get to where I need to go and be able to charge it and, like, be home perfectly fine. So I'm not too concerned, you know? I'm headed to bed -Stuy to go to a block party and then we're going to Everyday People in Bushwick. So super excited. I love Everyday People. Very hyped to close out the summer with them. But yeah, let's get into this highlight, you guys. This is Topaz by Becca. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Becca. Mascara is Rare Beauty, ABH Brow Freeze, Fenty Skin Tint, and then Fenty Lip Gloss. So. does strive to create an inclusive environment however i've consistently been harassed at everyday people by grown men <laughs> like, consistently i don't know what it is with men but they they don't do well with rejection in public places um so long story short i'm online to get a drink at the bar i'm with my friends the drink like the bar is really really crowded okay as it would be at any event with a couple hundred people um, so this dude is standing behind me, <laughs> he's like talking to me, he's asking me all these questions. I'm trying to be nice because I'm not trying to get like killed because men are insane, you know, like they get really aggressive. So he's doing all this, he's asking me all these questions and out the blue he goes, do you want to take my number? To which I respond, do you want to pay for this drink? Because why am I standing online? A grown man is behind me harassing me and you think you're going to get to talk to me for free? You're making me uncomfortable the least you could do is buy the drink like but so he said no and i was like all right cool so what do we need to talk on the phone about to which he started cursing me out <laughs> this man started cursing me out like he was he was not pleased with that um which just brings me back to my point of like let the men go back to being men like there are really this dude was like 34 which is hilarious um there are grown men right now, like grown men put on this earth to provide, who are cutting hearts into their hairlines and calling themselves certified lover boys because a 35 year old man from Canada told them to. I'm praying for the men. I really am. I'm praying that the men hop out their bags and like get back to like doing the things. I feel like in my opinion, if you're going to benefit from the patriarchy, you might as well align with all the aspects of the patriarchy. So provide, provide, okay? Build things, you know, be industrious, manage the money. Like, if you want to do all that, you might as well. But like, don't get mad at me when you know you're trying to use aspects of the patriarchy to get me to want to be around you. Don't get mad at me when I use aspects of the patriarchy that benefit me in terms of not wanting to pay for things. I feel like that's a fair compromise. Hello, besties. We're Hi, besties of association. <laughs> you know I see your girl, Crystal. I don't have no TikTok, but you see me. Well, this is for YouTube, Crystal. But, oh, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok, you talk. Whatever. We just left. We're leaving everyday people. We're going to a housewarming. 
um, some friends I made when I was studying abroad in Denmark. So I'm very excited because I haven't seen them in a really minute, in like a really yes, long time. KKG it's been like a year. No, they were not in my sorority. They're men. Like, no, I met. What's your foot tattoo? KBH. KBH. <laughs> KBH. Not just like KKG. I was like, that was the sorority. Crystal. Oh Jesus. Don't Christ. that mean? Um, what's that phrase they got? Uh, kick. No. Miguel. No. <laughs> their, their phrase kick out. It's like it means like do nothing. Like. Huga. No, it's like Heige. No, it's pronounced Huga. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Huga. H Y G T E. Yeah, that's what I said. Y'all heard it. Heige. <laughs> everyone, this is Henry. Hi, everyone. We studied abroad together in Denmark. This is the one I was talking about yeah. earlier. Isn't he great? Look, All right. look at him, right? right? Happy to be here. Yeah. So I'm home. I can feel the hangover brewing. I took Theo out. I'm going to sleep just because I feel the hangover brewing. Woke up. I'm a little tired, but I'm headed to Dunkin' Donuts because I really want a jelly donut. Then I'm gonna go to the bank and get some cash because I refuse to pay the ATM fee at the deli to get a bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm not paying five dollars. Paul twenty dollars. So I'm gonna just drive to the bank really quick, get my donut, come back home. So Duncan did not have a jelly donut, which is unfortunate. So I got an apple crumb donut, but I got this pink strawberry coconut refresher. And I'm from the Caribbean, like my family's from there, I was born there. This tastes so much like strawberry nutriment. It's like 6 p.m. I haven't accomplished anything I said I was gonna do today. I haven't cleaned my room, haven't edited this video, but you know what I am about to do? I'm about to go get me a crab boil at Aloha Crab because I want some crab legs. And I will handle all of that when I get back inside, okay? Now I just got to Aloha Crab and they're closed, but they're supposed to be open until 9.30 and it's 7, 11 p.m. right now. So I'm like kind of pissed because it's like the second time they've been closed when they're supposed to be open and they give no warning on social media or on Google or anything like that. So it's just like, it's very irritating. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to Juicy Crab or Hook and Reel or Red Crab in Rockville Center, but I'm just irritated because they should be open. Listen, okay? If it is one thing, one thing about the Juicy Crab on Hollis Avenue, they're gonna be open when they say they're open and they're gonna get you out of there quick. I walked in, I ordered in five minutes, I was out. This is what I get for trying to cheat on them and go into Aloha Crab. I should have known better, but now I know. And I will never stray again. I will always be faithful to Juicy Crab. So after I went to Everyday People, I played Tech Barbie for the entire week. That's like my running gag about what I do at work because you know, Barbie had all these different careers. So I played Tech Barbie. I did get invited to the Posse Gala, which is like one of my, like it's just like such a huge moment for me. Um, so I'm a Posse Foundation scholar. So if you're unfamiliar with the Posse Foundation, it was started in 1989 by Debbie Beale when she had a student who dropped out of college and he said he would have never dropped out if he had his Posse with him. So she had this idea to send groups of 10 students to college together. Vanderbilt University, where I went to college, was the first partner. So it obviously has the largest amount of Posse. So I think they're on like Posse 32 since Posse was started in 1989. Guys, I haven't seen Princess in five years. It's exciting. It's exciting. All right, so I'm sitting in my car. I'm about to drive home from the Posse Gala. And I'm like honestly just sitting down and thinking about the fact that like I didn't have to pay for my education. And that's crazy. Like today, you know google has like a student reimburse like student loans reimbursement program and like a lot of my friends are doing it and like i just kept thinking to myself like how thankful i am for something like posse to 
have allowed me to attend Vanderbilt University tuition free. Like I have friends who have $300,000 in student loans from their undergrad and graduate degrees at Vanderbilt University. Like numerous friends who have spent so much money to have an education and like the fact that my education is tuition free is like not lost upon me like I understand the sheer privilege that that sentence has but like I am so thankful <laughs> so thankful I'm so thankful for Posse because like even in the moments where Vanderbilt was so shitty so shitty when I tell you Vanderbilt University was trying to take me out Vanderbilt University was bullying me beating me up like I swear to god I swore I couldn't fight because of Vandy like Vandy really made me think I didn't know how to fight back like it would it was so heinous like there were moments where I was like damn I really want to leave this place and then there were moments where I loved it but like through the good and the bad like there are people in my posse who ride for me and I ride for them in a way that's like unparalleled and it's crazy to think that one that was over six years ago um my first posse interview was over six years ago but the fact that like a three-step interview process ended up resulting in like a 23 year old who you know has a good job and has a great education and like was able to come out being like bigger than the circumstances of my upbringing very very thankful legitimately that's why it's like I'll talk a lot of shit about Vanderbilt University but I will never talk a lot of shit about the Posse Foundation because what Debbie thought of when she was my age essentially has changed the lives of 10,000 people and like that's the kind of impact that one can only dream of having you know so always thankful always grateful you know but at the end of the day today's price is not tomorrow's price which is why i'm thankful for bossy because on december 15 2015 december 14th price was not december 15th price when i got that call saying that i got that ride to vandy so you know always thankful always blessed debbie if you're watching this i love you yeah she's really cute and like i don't say that to be vain i say that because like there was legitimately moments where i did not believe that because i was at a pwi and like i had to come to terms with the fact that like i was never ugly i was just a, i was just at a predominantly white institution like i was never ugly ever i was just literally at a pwi <laughs> and well that's the end of my week um thank you so much for watching Thank you for tuning into my life.